Hey, dude. Yep, yep. Today, I don't detect the usual scent of the sea. Hmm. I'm sorry about the other day. I think my heart is growing closer to that of a human. But because of that, I've realized something. The heart and body are inseparable. A human heart can only function properly within a human body. Have you ever come here alone with someone else before? Perhaps you gazed out at the view together and spoke quietly. Oh, I didn't mean to pry. I was just curious. What? But... I'm only shaped like a human, and besides, I'm a machine. Actually, I've been a little worried. At school, I am seen as a human girl. I was concerned that if I stayed too close to you, it could cause a misunderstanding. If that is the case, please tell me right away. I wouldn't want to prevent you from becoming closer to another person. From up here is beautiful. That must be why I sometimes see couples alone up here after school. They might be leaning against one another, or embracing. I never gave it a second thought before, but lately, it pains me to see them. I think I've come to realize that this is the kind of connection I can never have. As my heart grows more and more human, it only becomes clearer how much sets us apart. Just because my heart is developing, doesn't mean I can actually become human. I've known this since the beginning, yet... I'm sorry. I lost control of myself again. But I still care about you, and that won't ever change. No matter what happens. Even I find it strange. Why do I feel this way? Why are you so important to me? This is... love? <sighs> oh, 
So that's it. They finally understand. They have another wish. One just as important as my desire to live. But I know that this is something that I can never have. Let's go home. Interesting how the sunlight on a clear winter day seems stronger than it is during the summer? Perhaps it's because the sun is lower in the sky, and you don't have to look up to see it. I've gotten so used to this view, but no two times is it ever exactly the same. You could say the same thing about one's day to day, and to each life as well. Promised day is almost here. January 31st. Whenever I come up here, I get lost in my thoughts. I can't let it end like this. I want to protect it all. Thoughts like that. Since last time, I've tried thinking things through more rationally. I thought about that old lady and Michan-san, and Kiyoshi-san as well. I wonder if Michan-san was alone until the moment of her death, somewhere no one could find her. I think the old lady wanted to be there for her at the end. To live means to be connected to other people, but life is finite. Farewells are unavoidable sad to think about, but you and I will have to part one day as well. And then, I'll never be able to see you again. There are 
so many things in life I don't understand. It's filled with so much pain. You meet others, forge relationships, and spend time with them. And then they're gone, leaving you behind. Leaving you alone. <sighs> when I think about that, I just can't hold back my feelings. But I understand now. That's just how it is. No two views are alike. No two days are the same. It's natural for everything to disappear, re-emerge, and constantly change. Life is both short and finite. That's what makes it so invaluable, and why one feels that it must be cherished. When you think about it, it's a miracle that two given people are able to ever meet in this chaotic flow of time and space. I believe that's why we find happiness in forging bonds and relationships with others. And it might be the true joy of being alive. It can be sad, but at the same time so warm. Beautiful because it is destined to end. And that's why I mustn't hesitate any longer. I need to tell you, even if this wish of mine is to never come true, I still want to tell you my true feelings. Um... I... I love you. I know I'm a machine. I know that I cannot truly touch you as a human. But I can't help it. All I can see or think about is you. I love you so much that I feel like I'm going to break down somehow. Yes, I expected as much. I I'm sorry. I can't think of anything to say. Perhaps something really has broken inside of me. I thought being able to tell you my feelings would have been enough for me. But it's only made me want to be with you more. I'm hopeless, aren't I? that you gave me a straight answer and that you treated me like a human being <laughs> it's painful but now I feel like I can move on without regrets <sighs> oh um, shall we head back and if you don't mind I'd like to be as we always have as a friend by your side Yeah. <laughs> 
My thumb's getting a little greener every day, don't you think? For an amateur vegetable patch, it's really coming along. All that back breaking work was worth it. Listen, you hear that? That's the sound of our precious little veggies cheering us on. I'm not tripping out or whatever. What I'm trying to say is that they're growing on me. I mean, I get it. Gardening isn't all just fun and games. It's really cool how well they respond if you take care of them right. It's one of those times where you see the fruits of your labor after lots of slow, steady work. I never followed through on anything, and even I pulled it off. That counts for something, right? Now, oh, get off your high horse. These veggies raised you just as much as you raised them. We owe a lot to our nutritious little veggie babies. Ah, who am I kidding? Our veggie mentors. Well, whatever we do in life, we can't expect to hit a home run on the first swing. We gotta stay on our toes and wait for the perfect chance to strike. And when that time comes, you knock it out of the park. That's how the real sluggers do it. A valuable lesson straight from our vegetable teachers. Don't go forgetting it, you hear? Maybe I'm finally figuring this whole life thing out, huh? You know, I think I'll write a book. I could call it something like Life's a Vegetable Garden, the Junpei Yuri story. Selling books and vegetables? Ooh, we're gonna be rolling in dough. Man, am I a genius or what? All right, enough dreaming. Let's get a little bit more work done. did a heck of a job. See you later, my darling veggies. I'll be back again when I'm free. Well, let's call it a night. Hit me up again when you have some time. I'm going to do it. Not bad, kid. Bye bye.
Check it out if you got the time. You gotta tell no. Everything look good here? Great. It's all yours. Everything look good. Alright then. Baby still with me. Everything look good here? You gotta tell no. Alright then. Everything look good here? All right then. Everything look good? All right then. You gotta tell no. That what you want? All right then. Uh huh. What are you looking for? Everything look good here? All right then. Everything look good here? Great. It's all yours. Everything look good here? Great. It's all yours. Everything look good. Great. It's all yours. Everything look good here? All right then. That what you want? Great. It's all yours. That what you want? All right then. What lip take as long as you need? Everything look great. It's all yours. What will it be? What are you looking for? Everything look good here? All right then. At this point, I think you've got the skills to handle anything in here. Well, take your time. All done here? Come back soon.
You know what? Attention, please. Let's begin, shall we? I'm not going to say much, though. In the end, it's your decision. All right, first question. After you graduate, are you planning on going to college or getting a job? I see. Well, if you've already thought about it and made your choice, then there's nothing else for me to say. What's most important is that the decision is yours, and yours alone. If someone else makes it for you, you'll regret it later. And then, you'll have to live with the consequences, whatever they may be. But, to be honest, I'm not that worried about you. You've really matured over this last year. In fact, you've changed so much, I almost don't even recognize you. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. What do you think has helped to bring about this change the most? I see. Well, whatever the reason, you should be proud of the young man you've become. That's all for now. I hope you have a successful third year. Let's see, uh, who's next? Ah, I guess son. Would you mind letting her know? Thank you. Oh, the next one up for career consultation? That'd be Aigis-san. She was just here a second ago, but I guess she went out. Maybe she's on the roof? Seen her go up there alone every now and then. Sure. Good luck. So, do you think she's gonna go to college or get a job? She's full of mysteries, isn't she? She's changed recently, though, don't you think? Like her expressions and stuff. Again with that? You ever gonna stop thinking about hitting on girls? I don't mean it like that. All I'm saying is... needed some time to think. After New Year's, when I had time to gather my thoughts, I realized something. When I fought Ryoji-kun that night, I got really scared when my consciousness began to fade. But that wasn't all. I was also confused and ashamed when I realized I couldn't defeat him. But I couldn't defeat him ten years ago either, and I didn't have those feelings then. I... 
I really have changed. I've been thinking a lot about this change that's occurred in me. In the past, if I didn't understand something, I would just ask someone to explain it to me. But ever since I decided to live for myself, no one's been able to answer the questions I've been facing. But there's one thing that I do understand. The reason why I wanted to be close to you was so I could monitor death. But I... Even though death is gone now, I... I still want to be by your side. I still don't know what it means to live yet. But I want to learn the answer. And I think I can if I'm with you. So please, please take me with you. I may not be strong enough, but I'll fight with everything I have. Please. Thank you. Get a load of this. filling. I thought it might be nice to add some texture, so I made sure there's plenty of vegetables mixed in. I'm a little worried, but I wanted to give it a try. We went by the book for the seasoning, so it shouldn't turn out too different. Next, we have to put the filling in the wrappers, but... Where is she? Sorry I'm late. It was a long day of practice. Oh, have you gotten pretty far already? Welcome back. We were just starting on the wrappers. I invited Yukari-chan to join us. We were talking about cooking the other day, and she seemed really interested. I mean, you almost never invite me to something like this, Fuka. So I was happy when you did. Have you changed recently, or is it just me? Have I? In what way? You just seem more at ease now. Or maybe it's more confidence. Don't you think so? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Sounds like you know something I don't. Um, he's just been there for me a lot recently. He helped me see I had a real opportunity to change. I see. You haven't been making moves on Fuka, have you? Uh, no, it's not like that. He was just helping me as a friend. That's all, really. Well, I trust Fuka, so I guess you're in the clear. But if you weren't, you'd be eating my fist. <laughs> oh, the 
gyoza wrappers are going to dry out. Let's start wrapping, shall we? Yukari-chan? The flavor and texture are perfect. I think this is the best gyoza I've ever had. There's plenty more white rice if you want, too. Oh, I would, but... Sorry, I actually gotta get going. I've gotta clean my archery uniform before tomorrow. Oh, you can leave my dishes. I'll clean them when I get back. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Besides, we'll save on water if we do them all at once. <sighs> Sorry about this. I'll make sure I can stick around till the end next time. But thanks for having me. <laughs> Did you notice she said next time? I was a little nervous at first, but I'm glad I challenged myself. Oh, that reminds me. I have something I wanted to give you. You're always listening to music, so I thought you might like these. And I think you were a fan of this design, so I tried to match it. I told you I was pretty good with machines. Well, how are they? <laughs> pretty cool, right? Just kidding. Actually, I've decided I want to become more accepting of myself. I want to be able to say I'm proud of who I am. And I think this is the first step to reaching that goal. I'm going to be more confident in the things I'm good at. I hope you're happy with them. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the High Priestess Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the High Priestess within thyself. up on cooking either i'll embrace the things i'm good at but also find more things i can do i'm going to change one step at a time oh if there's anything you decide you want to try doing just let me know i'll always be here to help
think? Hey there. Come a little closer. Ah, right there. That should be good. Okay, here goes. Cheese? Oh, good. It came out nicely this time. I wasn't here when everyone took pictures last time. I've wanted to get one with you since. Technically, I could just capture video data through my eyes. But in that situation, I wouldn't be able to appear in the picture myself. Oh, I know it's a little late to be asking this, but... Do you like taking photos? Ah, what a relief. In that case, we should get a silly one next time. I think photographs are a truly amazing invention. They allow us to preserve a single moment in the endless flow of time. This technology was born from a desire to preserve the experiences that are precious to us. Until recently, I was sad about the fact that I am a machine, that I'm so different from other people. But after telling you my feelings, I realized something. There is one thing only a machine with a human heart can do, that only I can do. No matter how clear our photos and records are, they can't preserve our feelings. Data and memories aren't the same thing. Emotions can't be captured by a photograph. It can only continue to exist in our memories. But we'll all have to say goodbye eventually. And someday, our memories will fade. But I'm different. 
I'm going to keep my memories of everyone alive. Your experiences and feelings will continue to live on inside of me. I will never forget. Even if you all change, or if time ends up pulling us apart. Oh, yes. Um, will you take this? That's one of my parts that had to be replaced after I collapsed at the Moonlight Bridge. I asked Mitsuru-san to have it sent here. I kept it hidden until recently, because it reminded me that I'm just a machine. But not anymore. Now, it's a symbol to show that I'll always remember you. This is the proof of my resolve, and I want you to have it. I want you to know that as long as I'm here, I will never leave you. No matter how or when your life comes to an end. At that moment, I will be by your side. Everything that makes you who you are will live on in my memories. I am your friend, but I am also the machine that will keep your memory alive. Because this is something only I can do. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Eon Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Eon within thyself. together we ran into each other at the station and well i would have felt bad just leaving junpei behind there uh -huh. you're just so thoughtful aren't you <laughs> so what were you and i guess up to a picture why oh yeah hi chan wasn't there last time right why don't we all take a photo together since we're here Ooh, check it out we got all the second years here all right i'm in let's do it sure but who's gonna take it i don't think we can fit all five of us well i guess we could just take turns ah uh, okay i'll take the first shot where does everyone want to stand
Why, hello! the right things to say. When my uncle sees this, he will surely change his mind about Nihon. It is time for him to concede. I must hurry and go see him. Tutsui. Aloha. I have to say goodbye for a little while. But someday, I will return. I will not give in to my uncle. Please, take this. I made it out of the leftover material from the kimono. It is a symbol of our friendship. Please, please wait for me. I am certain I will return. Here in Nihon, the times I feel truly at home. They are the times I spend with you, my Tomodachi. Katachi, good night. me to say this, but uh, I will be leaving tomorrow. See you later. I see you're back.
marvelous. Here are my requests. You have my thanks. Very well, then. Welcome. I got my hands on some pretty interesting wares. Feel free to look around. Do you like that one? Have you just all right? I'll trade you for this. You seem different somehow. It's like you're all grown up now. Everything good? Come again. Everyone, listen up. Yep, exactly.
bad Welcome back. Shopping with me? Keep your voice down. <laughs> sure. Let's go together next time, Mitsuru Senpai. I'll go right, Fuka. Gotta go around from the right. Uh, okay. Huh? No, no, that's left. Oh, wait, that's right for you. Huh. Eh, whatever. Why don't you just climb to the top of the jungle gym? What? I'm not going down the slide head first. My clothes will get all dirty. That was your age? We used to compete over who could slide down in the funniest way. Funniest? 
Like what? Uh, you don't have to take your shirt off. It's fine. Shake. Is shake the command given to request pause on one's head? I comprehend. Good day. Very well, then. Hmm. Well, well. It seems that you've discovered every social link and formed strong bonds with them all. For you to have possessed this many bonds, you must have donned numerous faces. With such an extraordinary propensity for change, perhaps you may be able to harness a greater power. The power of infinity. Take this with you. I do believe you are now capable of summoning a particular persona. But what persona shall be born of your bonds? I look forward to seeing it myself. How may I assist you? Registering personas? Is overriding acceptable? All registered. Are you in search of new power? Which will you choose? This persona, yes? Please choose what skills to inherit. It appears it will receive an immense amount of power. So a 
it begins. Seeing what personas come to be is a great joy of mine. Are you satisfied with this? Are you satisfied with this? Have you all the elements you need? Visit. 